All right, here's a question for you. What were you doing when you were 11 years old? Hmm, were you becoming a published author? I was, no, I was probably oh. uh, drinking soda. Ne neither was I, but uh, <laughs> one local kiddo at age 11 has just published her first book as a poet and photographer. It's titled Poetry in Focus, a visual and poetic journey through the seasons inspired by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest. Abigail Strauss is that mega talented kid. She joins us on the couch with her mom, Rachel. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good Good morning. morning. Thanks for being here and congratulations on your first book. Absolutely. Thank you. That's really exciting. So when did you first get into to poetry and photography? Ooh, that's a hard question. I feel like it's just been with me for like a long time. Yeah. Just writing poems has just come naturally to me. I feel like I don't know when I've begun. Uh-huh. You just always kind of had it. That, yeah. That's really, really great. What was it like to see this book kind of come to fruition? I mean, you got it published. That's incredible. Yeah, it was just a really amazing journey, and I learned so much, and it's just been really awesome for me. Yeah. So how long did you work on this book? Because we've got some of, these are your photos here on yes. set, right? So we have some of the photos that you've taken of just some of the, the beauty in our, in our own backyard. How long were you working on the photos and the poems to go with it? So I've been working on this book a little over two years now, actually. And it's really just been amazing to see all of my hard work become this beautiful book. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine. I mean, Mom, what's this like for you? <laughs> it's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. Um, she is one of those kids that you just, you have to just even like whisper an idea at her <laughs> and she runs with it fully. Yeah. And, um, you know, she was gifted a camera and has just run with that and it's been it's been pretty awesome to witness. Yeah. Her going well, so after. Now, when she says, "Okay, I'm going to publish a book," what what was your first thought? I mean, I'm not surprised. It's <laughs> something that she's always wanted to do. Um, she is an avid reader. Yeah. She always has a book in hand, mm -hmm. so it was. Um, not a surprise that she made something. That's awesome. Herself. Don't lose that passion for reading either. That's I fantastic. That's, that's, that's great. going to take you far. That really is. Well, now, would you share a poem with us this morning, Abigail? Um, Do you have one you can read? Yeah, um, this is my favorite one. Okay. It's called Close Your Eyes. Okay. okay. Should, um, should we close our eyes? If you want to. Okay. Let's do it. Close, yeah. our yeah. close our eyes. Go right ahead. Once in a while, close your eyes and imagine a wonderful place where delicate butterflies and birds take to the skies with remarkable grace. With sun-dappled leaves, the towering trees provide shelter and shade from the sun. The trickling streams and the beautiful moss, homes for creatures, old and young. With swimming fish and bustling brooks and deer that leap through the trees. Where gentle wind ruffles fern fronds and sweet aromas float on the breeze. Where lovely flowers of all kinds flourish and joyful squirrels twirl with flair. Where buzzing bees provide honey and treats. Now open your eyes. You're already there. Wow. Oh my gosh. You're incredible. That is awesome. You you are the maybe the most felt, eloquent I eleven year old like I've in ever a, met. A beautiful little meadow on Mount Hood, you know? That was incredible. Yeah. Wow. Thank wow. You. Yeah, that Full is time. really impressive. You should just take my job. You, 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 can just, you, can just, you can just start. I'll give you the prompt to remote from now on. Just, just nipping at your heels, Trav. Really, yeah. really that's it's, very impressive. Now so where can folks find your book? Because that was really lovely. Uh, it's actually available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. Mm -hmm. So if you want to check it out, you can do that there. And if you want more information, you can also visit my website, abgalstrauss.com, as well. Look wow. at that. Oh my gosh. So, okay, so you're a published author. Yes. You've got your website. Mm -hmm. What's next for you? Ooh, so I'm definitely writing more books. That is a must. <laughs> um, I think ne up next, I'm going to be doing a book that like does a deep dive into like emotions oh. and like tries to make you feel these emotions I'm trying to convey. So I'm going to see if I can figure that out. My jaw is on the floor with you right now. You are unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Wow, your talent, and again, you're so eloquent. That is unreal. Well, thank you both for being here. Abigail, congratulations. This is no small feat, yeah. even for somebody as an adult, let alone to do it at the time you're doing it. I think that's great. Great yeah. job. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. All right, and again, Poetry in Focus, available right now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or wherever you buy your favorite books. And to learn more, go to that website again. That's abigailstrauss.com.